which is larger, 333 to the power of 444, or 444 to the power of 333. The question is so wonderful, and the method very, very tricky. Our first step is always inspection. The basis, hmm, and exponents, nice. Okay. Look, three hundred thirty-three and four hundred forty-four, three 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 and four four four. They're both multiples of one one one, one eleven. This is three times one eleven, and this is four times one eleven. Very good. Then what shall we do? Of course. Replace four 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 three three three, which are the exponents, with four times one one and three times one one. So now the first step is the bases are still these two numbers, these two ugly numbers actually. An exponent here it can be written as four times one one one, and here. It can be written as three times one one one. Then, according to the formula, which formula? This one. A to the power of m times n. It can be it can be written as a to the power of m, then all to the power of n. It can also be written as a to the power of n all to the power of m. A formula for the exponential operations. Okay, then here is of course a three 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 m is four n is one eleven. So now we can use which one? Of course, we should use the second one because you can see here appears one 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 and here as well. These two sides must have a common exponent. So here it can be written as. Three 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 to the power of four, then also power of one one one. Here is four 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 to the power of three, also power of one one one. They both have the exponent one one one. So now we only have to compare three hundred thirty three to the power of four with four hundred forty four to the power of three. Very good. Then, what do you want to do next? Of course, for comparing these two guys, we know that the exponents are four and three, nothing valuable, but the bases, they can be changed. Here it can be written as three times one one one, just like here. Four four is. Four times one one one. Here, I like to use another exponential operation, a formula. A times b all to the power of n. It can be written as a to the power of n then times b to the power of n. Of course, it is very very valuable for our this step for simplification. Okay, that means here it is. Three to the power of four, then times one 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 to the power of four, and the right hand side is four to the power of three times one 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 to the power of three. Now we only have to compare these two guys. Very good. We can see three to the power of four is what eighty one. Four to the power of three what sixty four. Okay. Now we can find out that eighty-one is of course greater than sixty-four, and one hundred eleven to the power of four is also greater than one hundred eleven to the power of three, because the exponent four is greater than three and one hundred eleven is greater than one. From these two inequalities, if we multiply them together, then we can get. Eighty-one times one one to the power of four 
is greater than 64 times 111 to the power of 3. Okay, that means we can get this. The left hand side from this inequality is the left hand side here, and the right hand side from this inequality is the right hand side here. So that means 81 times 1 to the power of 4 is greater than 64 times 1 to the power of 3. Very good. This is greater. This is greater. Greater, greater. Oh, here is red. I'm going to use yellow. Or orange? I don't know. So now we can see the left hand side, 3, 3, 3 to the power 4, 4 is much greater than the right hand side, 4, 4 to the power 3, 3, 3. Did you get it? Give a thumbs up for this wonderful method. Subscribe to me. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.